The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, I did about all I can do, folks. Um, tried to make this go viral, best of my ability. Um, a lot of other people have too, but uh, it's up to you people out there to make this this document go viral so everybody can see it and see what's happening to the rights. There's very little talk about it. Uh, it might have got a little bit at the very beginning, but enough people wasn't watching the news at the time. They was probably watching uh, Dancing with the Stars and uh, all that goofy crap they got on TV anymore. Or football or basketball or some kind of sports event that's got everybody's mind occupied so they can argue amongst themselves in the stadium and get mad and argue and bicker and think everything's all good. We're going to have this forever. Well, folks, only thing I can tell y'all is this. You're not going to have all that forever. If this bill passes, if there's not enough stink raised from you people, and I really mean this, if there's not enough, enough, the level of the people don't raise up and shout to the top of their lungs and say, I ain't going to take it anymore. People, you're just going to you're just going to be slaves. I mean, what else can there be? I mean, if that's what you want, then you'd be saving a lot of us people out there a lot of time. You know, just come in here and say, oh, you might as well lay down. We don't care. You know, I don't get it. Ron Paul was the only person out there, and Rand Paul, it is in our Congress. There's a few, there's, well, there were seven that voted against this bill. We know Ron Paul and we know Rand Paul. I don't know who the other five is, or I don't. I'm sure there's a list somewhere. I haven't found it. But I'm sure that those seven people right there need all the help they can get right now. That tells you that we got seven people in Congress. This literally for the people and for the Constitution of the United States. 93? Come on, folks. 93? I mean, 93 voted yes to this bill. Isn't that enough for y'all out there to understand that we're in deep shit? And I literally mean that, people. We're in deep. Deeper than a lot of you people even know. We ain't got time for you to play around and, and do twiddly winks with your damn finger up your ass and, and holler snake. It's over, folks. It ain't time to have a big drink with your buddy and pat him on the back and have a drink with your, sit, your girlfriend and y'all all get naked and jump in a pile. It ain't time for that no more. Playtime's over. You have, you've had 35, 40 years of playing. It's time to grow up. Time to get your head out of that. Get your head out of the damn sand and start paying attention to what's going on around you. And help get this message out to everybody you know. It's time, people. It's time. You know, it's time for everybody to wake up. Now I don't know if you can or if you can't. Maybe you just been you plain old just drugged up on fluoride water and taking medicine and pills and drinking too much alcohol and smoking too much pot or you smoking too much heroin or cocaine or whatever. If that's the case, <coughs> then you ain't much count no how. But you need to wake up. It's either that or you're going to have to go through some bad withdrawals because you ain't got all that stuff and you can't get it, can't afford it, and can't steal it. So you bad guys that think you're so bad and, and terrible and everything, this affects you too. It affects you cops. It affects you judges. It affects you lawyers. Anyone that lives in the United States, this affects you. 
it affects your freedom and everybody else's. Do you want your kid to live in a, be, a, be a slave? Do you want them to have to work for no money and get nothing to eat and be skinny as, with pot bellies? So skinny they got them pot bellies like them little people, them little kids that we feel sorry for in other countries have got a big pot belly and they're so skinny they look like their eyes are about to pop out of their brain or their skull. Is that what y'all want? That's coming to a theater near y'all, folks. This is, this is Hitler all over again. This is what this is. They creating a new world order and they're going to have one Hitler to run it. Who that Hitler's going to be, I ain't sure. I thought it was uh, Obama and still may be. I ain't sure. I'm sure if he stays in office, he's going to be. But people, something's got to change. Y'all got to change. Y'all got to change. You got to open up your mind and, and see what's going on around you. There's an, an opening, an eye-opening event going on for all of you. And all of you are smart enough to see it. There ain't one of you out there that's that dumb. You're not that dumb. You can see what's in front of you. You just don't want to hear it because you're scared. That don't make sense neither, does it? Because most of you get off on fear. That's why you go to all them sites where people getting their hand cut off on one of these YouTube videos or they go to uh, some site that showing someone getting their head cut off or getting hung like Osama bin Laden. And uh, all, that, all them things that you've seen on TV, people getting shot live. That all trips y'all out. Y'all get off on it. I mean, you actually, you literally get off on it. It ain't just a thrill for you or scared. It's a thrill. You get your cookies and you nut off on it. What is wrong with y'all? Ain't it time to see that that could be you next? I mean, the evidence is in your face, folks. It's there. It's there for the taking. But y'all are still sitting there. There ain't one person taking somebody's video knowing that they're not getting any views. Anybody. I'm talking about all of you people. Every one of you. I ain't talking to just one. I'm talking to all of you. You see somebody that's got a good video, you don't pass it. You don't favor it. You don't save it. You don't send it to your friends. You don't link it up on a, a blog if you have one. You can't say that about me because mine's full. And I got four blogs. They all got something on. You people need to reach down there and grab them damn nuts and say, I'm a man. I'm not going to take this shit no more. Or you girls reach back there in the back back there and pull that, that uh, tea back up in the crack of your ass and say, I got it going. It's time. It ain't time to sit around and play and do tiddlywinks. Tiddlywinks is over. You need to start working with your fellow man. We're not going to have the internet much longer. It's going to go down. Or, let me rephrase this. I think it's already done been screwed with because it was down most of the day. I don't know if anybody else noticed that or not, but I did. Maybe, maybe it was just my internet. But YouTube was had me shut down from um, nine o'clock this morning till about six o'clock this afternoon doing updates. We'll be back shortly. You know the rule. You know the scenario. But anyway, folks, are you gonna sit there and wake up? You just gonna sit there and say there ain't nothing I can do? Ron Paul can help you. Ron Paul can win if y'all are helping. That's all I can say about that because I know that all of you keep saying that, oh, he can't win. Well, nobody can win if they always say no. So with that, I'm about run out of time and I talk my feel, I guess. I'm upset about this. Y'all all know that already. If you watch my videos, 
And if you don't, if it's your first time, please come to my website and subscribe if you like what you hear. If you don't, then you don't like your country. That's all I can tell you. You don't like your fucking country. If you live in the United States and you don't like what I've been preaching to you, then you don't love your country. If you live in the United States. So, much love to y'all. And uh, heads up, folks. Don't let them go to the, the alien invasion for y'all. Because, you know, that is the last card. That is coming. So much love, heads up, and good night.